Good morning and welcome to Mind the Rajapaksa International Cricket Stadium here in Surya Baba Hambantata for the third game of the tri series between England, Australia, and Sri Lanka. We know yesterday England played Australia, and day before yesterday, Sri Lanka were playing uh, Australia, and today we have a more important game between Sri Lanka and England. See, I see some beautiful pictures all around the Mahindraj Park Centre National Stadium there. This is a game today which is coming to you, Sri Lanka versus England. The two captains, uh, Jashi Grove and uh, Mani the Nanakara of Sri Lanka. So you see uh, once again uh, these pictures coming from the drone, which is the Mahindraj Park Centre National Tra Stadium in Surya Baba Hambantata. It will be definitely going to be an interesting game because the last two games provided very good finishers. Sri Lanka getting the better of Australia and uh, England getting the better of uh, Australia too. Beautiful pictures, uh, all the highways reading towards the Mahindraj Park International Stadium. Lovely pictures coming to us. Yeah, I see the temperature, 32 centigrade Celsius and humidity at 70% and wind blowing at 5 kilometers per hour. So definitely it's going to be pretty hot there in the center.
2019 Tri Nations uh, tournament involving Sri Lanka, Australia, and England. Today's game is a
At the boundary. Lovely stuff, Alex. Batsman crossover for two. Takes the Sri Lankan total on to 12. 12 without loss. We are in the second over. She adjusted and played that well. Controlled it well through mid wicket. Her initial movement, Kavinda, is on to the front foot. You, you could see she's always looking to stretch forward. So generally, if the bowler changes her length, she might uh, uh, be in a bit of an awkward situation. But this time, opened herself up. Controlled it well uh, through that mid wicket region. And uh, picked up a couple of runs. Uh, two overs completed, 12 without loss. Sorry, <coughs> Sri Lanka after winning the toss and uh, electing the bat first at 12 uh, after two overs. Yes, uh, there we may have gone seven and uh, Sanjana Kavindi on three. That's a wide delivery once again by Stonehouse. First over, she gave away six runs. 13 for no loss, Sri Lanka. You see the replay of that delivery down the leg side. The signal wide by the umpire. That's Ranjit Marshall against Channing. As the head umpire. Thirteen for Nola Sri Lanka. Oh, power behind that one. Good wrist work as well. Vihanga stand and uh, deliver. It was uh, full on the stumps. She was not afraid uh, to hit it in the air, not afraid to uh, take the aerial route to uh, clear that 30-yard uh, uh, circle. And uh, that was a uh, well played. A lot of a uh, bottom hand into the shot and got the elevation uh, she needed uh, to clear the infield. So another welcome uh, boundary to the Sri Lankan total. Well, Stone now started off well yesterday with a couple of wickets in the first over. But today the Sri Lankan batters have got the better of her. That is Ranjit Marshall again, standing now at the, as the head umpire. Well, respected gentlemen, as they've been around a long time in first class cricket and uh, has uh, done a lot of games. Uh, oh, that's a slow one. That's given. That's given. Umpire Marshall again took his time. But uh, raised his uh, finger. This is a very good bowling by Stonehouse. The earlier one was much fuller. It was easy for Wianga to get under it. But this time she dragged her length a bit back. And I, I think she probably just rolled her fingers uh, over that one, slowed it up a bit. Wianga playing across the line, also maybe playing a bit uh, too early. We'll take a look at that one. Yes, definitely she slowed the slow, uh, ball, the slow delivery. Out Fox the batter. Hit her in the front. That would have crashed into a leg stump. This is a good wicket. A big one for England. And Stonehouse has once again got the breakthrough. Devmi Vihanga, LBW for 11. Sri Lanka, 17 for 1. It's wide outside the Ostrom, trying to cut it away. Didn't get hold of it properly. Watching England play yesterday uh, against Australia, I thought that they adjusted the conditions uh, really well. You know, they were probably from the sidelines. They were watching the first game between Sri Lanka and Australia. They, they just uh, looked how the wicket was playing, how it behaved. We saw yesterday too them uh, bowling a lot of slow deliveries. 
you know, uh, changing the length, and this is what uh, she did uh, to get away and got trapped LBW. Just uh, slowed it up. She played too early. Also, she was looking to probably play it much more uh, finer, not offering the straight bat. That would be uh, called wide. So another one uh, to the total. But yes, uh, England have adjusted uh, really well, and, and, and they're thinking on their feet. Stonehouse, definitely. Uh, she looks seems uh, a great talent, a very good left arm, can bowl with a bit of pace. But uh, when you have to adjust to certain conditions, especially coming here to Sri Lanka and uh, South Asia, you need uh, to, uh, to bowl a lot of the slow deliveries, uh, cutters as well. And uh, Stonehouse, uh, very good. Uh, uh, with Time we got nicely played towards the fine leg boundary. That's gone for four. So Senaratna gets off the mark. She's on four. And the Sri Lankan score moves on to 22. Yes, so that's well played. Use the pace of the bowler. Fine leg in the circle. All she needed was uh, to beat that uh, uh, fielder and uh, that was well timed. She did not get going in the first game. Didn't get uh, many. So she'll be looking, uh, relishing this opportunity. Coming in early here in just the third over. So she has a lot of overs left, a lot of balls to play with. Could take her time and uh, put up a, a score. Three overs completed, 22 for one. So Stonehouse, uh, one for 15 of two overs, uh, Taylor nine for seven. Beautiful pictures uh, brought to you from our production team of uh, Sri Lanka Rupawani Corporation coming to you live on Channel I, of course, and on the Sri Lanka Cricket YouTube channel. Blue skies here. It's quite humid. Hot weather conditions uh, at uh, Hambantota as a smell has been introduced into the attack spin for the first time smile did uh, pretty well in the previous game against australia that's nicely driven straight down the ground that's gone to the boundary kavindi gets on to seven with that boundary and the score moves on to 26. i've been very impressed with uh, sanjana kavindi the cricketer so fine what i've seen from her still uh, fresh uh, still uh, Starting off, but uh, the way she plays the game, we saw her bowl a few overs as well uh, the other day. She's uh, playing some positive, fearless cricket. But that oh, is what yes, I like uh, from the entire team uh, in general after that first game. Uh, they never gave up. Uh, they were fighting hard right till the end. Uh, a lot of talent, no doubt about it. G genuine, natural talent uh, inborn from them after being training and practicing from a young age. And uh, carving the looks to be a very good player no doubt about it very determined and once again uh, uh, Paulina she'll just get a single but uh, she's playing good cricket in shots isn't she I mean first full she went straight down short she played the ball shot not trying to uh, do anything fancy at the moment she's watching the ball well getting her feet movement correctly getting in line and putting it nicely that time see the replay on that watched it well and pulled it to her towards the fine leg area Good bit of feeling there. So Sri Lanka, 27 for one. We're in the third over. Or rather, fourth over. Again, uh, swept away, but uh, got the top edge going towards the boundary, a long chase. But might have been, uh, we'll have to have a look at it again. Yes, sir, the third umpire might have referred that one. But a uh, good attempt, nevertheless, uh, good chase down uh, to the boundary. This was yours now, buddy.
the hand is in contact with the ball, with the, with the rope. You have anything else? I haven't any angles. Any other angles. Can you give me the first one again? I haven't any other angles. Boundary 4, signal boundary 4. So a boundary has been given. Thank you. Takes uh, Nitpisen Radnaw on 2 8 and the score to 31. Sri Lanka winning the toss and deciding to bat first. Oh, yes, he didn't like that, but he didn't like that. That's dog that's delivery, really and that's the end of that over. Oh. So four overs gone, it's 31 for one. It has been a positive and a good start yes, for Sri Lanka. Uh, they, they lost an uh, early wicket. Uh, yeah, they were kept had, uh, piling on the runs. 8 of 5, 8 of 11 to the two batters. And uh, after four overs, they've certainly done well. Almost eight runs per over. 7.75 seven uh, seven to be exact. So Smale going for nine in a first over. And uh, the England captain, Nagroves, will be looking to ring the changes. Yes, I think we have another bowling change. And the stone house has been uh, replaced by uh, we have Ava Lee who is into the attack and uh, straight away she's uh, into the game straight away she has made an impact picking, picking up a wicket brought into this game and uh, there she is what a change uh, in the bowling by the England uh, scapper Jossie Grooves. The right arm off spinner flight in that delivery ball around the pads. Looking to play the sweep. Didn't cover the line enough. Unfortunately, she was betting us so well. Uh, Kavindi, Sanjana Kavindi. She has to go for it. Sri Lanka 31 for 2. So that's the Sri Lankan captain, Manu Nanakara, coming in at number four. Left hand? Sure. Select them, please. Thank you. Right, let's go, You see two matches, two innings, 16 runs, average of 16, a strike rate of 106.67. But she got 16 in the previous game against Australia. So Sri Lanka need to put up a good partnership at this stage. Two wickets down for 31 runs in the fifth over. That's a flight of delivery driven firmly, but straight to mid off. They go for a quick single. Good bit of running between the wickets that time. Good understanding and good calling between the two batters. So these two will have to once again rebuild, put up a partnership. She was batting so well. Unfortunately, Sanjana missed the line, didn't cover the line enough. Bowled around the pads. But uh, credit to uh, Iwali. No, giving it a lot of, yeah, inviting uh, the batter to play that false stroke and uh, getting a wicket. Uh, now you can't ask for more oh, to yes, get a wicket of the yes, first yes, delivery. Really get it out. Yes, there was some turn in that first delivery too, Ricky. Bowling around the legs. Awali. You see a the turn there too. Pulled away, but this time straight to the squalic boundary. There is a fielder there. I mean, when you're a spinner, it doesn't matter what the format is, and especially when you're a youngster, there's no better place to come and bowl. You know, in these yeah, conditions, it's the best. 
Uh, Sri Lanka, South Asian conditions. If you're a spinner, young spinner coming from Australia or England. And uh, this is uh, a wonderful opportunity for her to uh, make a mark, you know, use her craft really well. But that's well played. They'll get a couple of runs. Again, once again, we'll probably go to the third umpire to refer that one. But uh, well played into the gap uh, by uh, Nane Kara, the skipper. Well, good tip. Yeah, just don't get too straight, mate, yeah? Yeah, you're good. Oh, Tommy, you're coming from this. Yes, nice, guys. Let's go. Coming, Eva. Yes, that was definitely a good bit of fielding and good commitment by the English fielders. Well played on the outside. So that's the end of the fifth over. Sri Lanka 35 for two. Senoratna on nine and Anakara on three. Sri Lankan betting card. We hung her getting out for 11. He was LPW to Stonehouse. Carving this, she was bowled by Awana Lee for 8. Come on out, come on out, out on 9 and Anakara not out on 3. 35 for 2. Let's so say good morning to Dhammika Hemanta who's joined me in the box. Good morning, Dhammika. Good morning, Polly. Starting off with a wide. The sixth over, still a one over remaining in the first power play. Sri Lanka, decent score on the board, but have lost two crucial wickets. Oh, yes, of, especially Demi Vihanga, someone who can take the charge. It's a new day, new pitch, new challenge. Sri Lanka straight away knows that they are up against a very strong England outfit who comprehensively beaten Australia yesterday. And they are the current runners up in under 19 world cricket so this is a good opportunity for Sri Lanka to test their metal yes definitely the Sri Lankans wanted uh, some good challenge between the Australians and the Englishmen to throw at them the English girls have been really up to the mark beating the Australians uh, yesterday today they're playing against Sri Lanka Sri Lanka got the better of Australians too 36 for two at the moment. Snail, who had a good game yesterday, got three for 19 of three overs, but today she's been uh, a bit expensive. Ten runs given away. Maybe she's still bowling her second over. Snail from time to time, sliding down the leg side, striving for a little bit of spin. Sri Lanka dug out, looking relatively happy. Always good to see. I'm sure after the win against very strong Australian outfit, their hopes are set in a higher level now. Right, Sri, Lankan, Sri Lankan girls coached by Mahesh Virasinghe has done a good job. And done pretty well against Australia in the first game, beating the Australians by seven runs. In the second game, they took up the challenge, won the toss and decided to bat first at 38 for 2 at the moment. They want to put up a total and uh, put the pressure on the English uh, batters. No doubt about that. At the toss they mentioned, they are aiming to go beyond 130. I think a score of around 140, beyond 140 would give them a good chance of doing well. So we complete the sixth over, first power play done, Sri Lanka 38 for 2. They see the umpire Ranjit uh, Masalagay signaling the, the first power play is over. 
38 for two. Sri Lanka got uh, 38 runs in that power play. Fairly decent score. But uh, the problem is they got lost two wickets. Avana lead to continue. One for four in her first over. Got the valuable wicket of uh, Kavindi. That's again swept down the leg side. Anakara going for the second. Good bit of running there again by the, the, these two batters. Leg by signal. And uh, Sri Lanka score moves on to 30 of 40. Eva Lee couldn't have asked for a better start. First delivery straight away, picking up a wicket around the legs of the left handed batter. And uh, she's feeling confident now. She's getting the ball to turn, flying it generously this time, straight to the fielder. I think Sena Ratna and Nana Kara, their responsibility now is to build a partnership. Decent call, like you just mentioned, 40 for 2. But to challenge the strong England batting, they need something around 140, 150. With this start, they can set their target. Oh, I think it'll be an interesting call. Start with the front foot, please. Fair delivery. We'll go on to front on. Give me your best shot from square leg. Yep. Can you give me a better shot on that? I want to see the breaking of the wicket. It's a better shot. Can you take it back? I want to see if the arm is breaking the wicket with the ball in the hand. Yeah. Is the ball in that same hand? Can you give me the other side again? I want to see if the arm has contacted with the with the stumps, with the ball in hand. Wait, sir. Okay. Wait, I, I want to see which hand the ball is in. So, where is the ball? Can you take this back? Can you take it back, please? The ball is in the other hand. Yeah, the ball is in the other hand, and uh, we want to see the way the wickets are breaking. Wait a few minutes, sir. Yeah. Play, play, play. Ball is in the other hand, and the wicket is broken. Can you give this? Us? Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, keep it forward. Move it forward. Move it forward. Okay. The Ball is not in that hand, so it's not out, and the wickets are broken. So the ball is not in the hand; it's not out, not out, not out. There, see the signal given by the TV umpire, Ranma Martinez. So a lot of work to do today. Not out is the signal. I think the wicket keeper dropped the ball or got it stuck inside. So uh, there was no ball in her hand when she broke the stumps. That was might have been the reason for the not out decision. I thought Nana Kar was lucky. Excellent piece of off spin bowling by Eva Lee. Flighted generously. Coming down the track, Nana Kar missing it all together. So did the wicket keeper. Stuck in her armpit, it seems. But the stumps was broken by the other hand. 
So that's the reason for the third umpire, Ranbo Martinez, to call that one as a not out. Sri Lanka get a lucky break. At this stage, Sri Lanka cannot afford to lose wicket because this is the st important stage where they need to build a partnership and scoring ideally at a runner ball and launch a good platform. Hawali is definitely bowling a good line, good length and getting a bit of turn off this wicket too. She had a good outing yesterday. Oh no, she's playing his first game today. Snail had a good outing yesterday with 3 for 19. It's nicely played towards the extra cover boundary with a single. So 42 on the board, 7 hours gone, Sri Lanka 42 for 2. Taking a look at the pass, 10 runs in the third over, that's the best so far. 8 extras, England fielding, absolutely brilliant. He saw young girls throwing themselves out down in the deep. Out of 3 teams, I think England set example. I think they are the best fielding team out of three teams participating in this Tri-Nation under-19 girls tournament. So Josie Groves, the England captain, bringing herself on. She bowled a couple of overs yesterday too. Didn't get any wickets, right arm leg spin. Yes, yes, well flighted uh, Manudina Nakara coming down the wicket to move, meet the ball. Throw firmly but straight to mid on. Sri Lanka need a decent partnership from these two batters. Senaratna and Anakara. Again fly, flighted, driven firmly. But the batsman cross over for a single. Good bit of running between again. Good calling and good understanding between the two batters. Direct hit might have been interesting, but luckily for Nana Akara, it was away from the stumps. You can have another look. A full toss. Nana Akara must be feeling that she missed out on a scoring opportunity. Nevertheless, a single. Sri Lanka moving on, and Sri Lanka going into this game unchanged in comparison to England with four changes. Which means England trying out their combinations. Oh. Took the outside edge and trickled down, down towards the third man boundary. That's gone for four. Runs to Senaratna. Takes it on to 14 and Sri Lanka total moves on to 47. 47 for two. We're in the eighth over. Good piece of bowling. Took the outside okay, edge. Beautiful outfield, very fast. As usual, England girls diving themselves around, still couldn't prevent it. A boundary that takes get down, get down, get down. the run rate yes, once again above up. six. That's where Sri Lanka should be staying for the middle part of this game, which will definitely enable them to launch towards the latter part, which is important, finishing strong. Last delivery of that over, so beaten outside the stump. Eight overs gone, 47 for two. Senratna on 14 and Anakara on six. Taking a look at 30 dots, Sri Lanka, still fair number of dot deliveries, I'm sure. In the camp, coaching staff as well as team management, captain, they must be discussing this. Yesterday we saw England, even though they've lost four wickets for 30 runs, they never kept scoreboard ticking, picked up singles whenever pos possible. And 
that's something Sri Lanka should be working on with the time it's about improving these young girls what better opportunity than playing the best in the world 47 for 2 Sri Lanka winning the toss and deciding to bat first and Taylor has been brought in first over she gave away 7 runs that's yes, firmly yes, hit, yes. but straight to the extra cover fielder. These two batters need to put up a good partnership. Second good fella, 31 now. Up to now, they've put on 16 runs. Senaratna and Nana Kara Senaratna in particular getting a couple of shots. 14 or 15 deliveries. One of the Nana Kara, the captain. Or to take the strike, looking for the singles. So there you see the run rate at 5.64. Two dot deliveries up to now in this over. See the Sri Lankan dugout. Girls watching play, waiting for their turns. Some of them. That's nicely cut away. That's going towards the sweeper cover, right in the boundary. Just a single. 48. Taylor started off together with Stonehouse, did a fantastic job restricting Australians, picked up three wickets in no time. And today, as you can see, her strength is bowling straight, not striving for too much pace. Stumps to stump. That's the way to go. It's been proven. One point, three overs, still only given away eight runs. Yes, yesterday the two openers, Stonehouse and Taylor, they bowled five overs of the power play of six overs. They were five overs. They just gave away three runs in the first five overs. That put a lot of pressure on the Australian batters after that. And that uh, opening spell, even the Sri Lankan openers, opening bowlers against the game against Australia, they put a lot of good work at the start of the innings and uh, putting the pressure on the rest of the Australian batters. So that's a wide call by umpire Marcel again. For the first time I'm seeing Taylor going away outside the off stump, perhaps striving for a little bit of in-swing. There we go, straight away, trying an uh, in-swinger to the left-handed batter. Sri Lanka got a number of left-handed batters, Manudeep hey, and hey, Kara, two of them. There's more to come. Run rate gone below six. Current list standing at 5.66. The meantime, in the middle of a very decent over. There, the 50 up, 55 runs coming on the board for Sri Lanka. We are in the ninth over. One more delivery remaining in this over. That's firmly hit. That takes the outside edge and going towards the third man boundary. Four more runs to Nanakara. Takes around to 11. And the Sri Lankan score will move on to 54. After the end of the ninth over, Sri Lanka 54 for two. That boundary basically ruined the figures for Taylor. I just mentioned in the middle of a good over, but that outside edge, four more runs, and Sri Lanka moves forward 54. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Taking a look at the bowling so far, Stonehouse, decent, a wicket, given away 15 runs, and the other wicket taker, Eba Lee, a wicket, given away just 6 runs, very good 2 overs. England, all in all, sticking to basics and doing really well. 54 for 2 after 9 overs, a decent run rate of 6 per over for Sri Lanka. Jesse Gross, the English captain, continuing to bowl. Bowl one over earlier, gave away five runs. Bowling to Natni Senaratna, who's on 15. She got this 15 runs of 17 deliveries. Well, an important partnership building up between these two batters, Natni Senaratna and Manudi Ranakara. Once again, well flighted. Sinanathan trying to push it on the offside, misses it completely. They got to use their feet and come down the wicket, take it on the full and try to drive it. 
Sri Lankan batters should try to do that. You see the manager of the Sri Lankan team, Hemata Deva Priya, watching the proceedings. And with the Sri Lankan girls in the dugout. English captain Chassi Groves. Right arm leg spin. Good delivery, well pitched up. Senorata unable to get on with it. As you saw early in the morning, Sophie Groves doing spot bowling extensively. Working well for her. She's been getting some purchase off the track, some turns straight away. Slip fielder being brought. Get out, get out, get out. No. And a foolish delivery driven firmly to the extra cover boundary. That's a nice shot played by Senorata. Took it full. Four more runs to the score. Takes the score on to 58 and Senorata moves on to 19. They see eight boundaries in the innings up to now. It's a fuller delivery. Hit firmly between extra cover and cover point. That's gone to the boundary. Good bit of batting by uh, Senoratna. No doubt. She waited till the opportunity arriving. A full toss. Nicely dealt with. True extra cover region for a boundary. A good clear. Good comeback. Bruce Keeper, we know what she is capable with the bat. And today, doing her responsibilities with the ball so far. 1.5 overs. Given away just 9 runs and. Apart from that boundary, a very good over. Sri Lanka, take a look at it. Four dot balls. They should be rotating strike more often than not. It's a shortish delivery again, pulled firmly. But there is a fielder there. Gets a single. Takes a score on to 59. Senoratna moves on to 20. Hannah seven. Seno was gone. It's 59 for two. As we're taking a look at the scorecard, Wehanga, 11, carving the 8, and these two batters in the middle, Sinaratna and Nana Kara, building a good partnership.
image of uh, the England team uh, we saw earlier. Very enthusiastic. You know, has been around uh, this uh, setup uh, for some time now. Doing a lot of work for women's cricket working with the ECB. It was good to have a chat to her earlier. England uh, head coach uh, Chris Guest in charge of this under 19 lineup, assisted by uh, Darren Franklin and uh, Courtney Wingfield Hill. There's their coaching staff on tour oh, here with the Sunday 19 team. Yes, Ava. Through deep point region, a strong area for Manu Dinana and Kara this time. Gone aerial, but clearly away from the fielder. Senaratna on 32 of 31, looking good. Just about 18 runs away from a half century. Sri Lanka haven't scored any half centuries in this tournament. This is the ideal time. An outside edge. Four more runs. Yes, I was sir. about to talk about the boundaries. Here comes Senoratna. Picks another boundary. Not intentional. But uh, the idea was right. She was looking to give herself some room. And hit it through the offside. Probably she was looking to hit it more towards the extra cover region. She got the outside edge. The idea was right. Probably the execution uh, not as uh, what she wanted. But uh, ends up with a boundary. Now runs uh, that matter. Doesn't matter how it comes. As long as it comes uh, for Sena Ratna or Sri Lanka. They, won't, they will take it. But good fielding. Very good fielding. So when Kumar there. Very enthusiastic. Tiring herself. They're enjoying the weather, isn't it? The fans uh, from uh, England, they are enjoying that hot and humid weather. See? Coming from much cooler, colder conditions. Under the trees there, it's very hot. I mean, we, we can't really go out there. It's so hot and humid. Uh, it's burning and uh, we prefer to stay indoors. But uh, I'll tell you, the fans, uh, the English uh, tourists, uh, the Englishmen, Ladies and the gentlemen, they are really enjoying it, and uh, it's a great. Uh, I mean, they are going to that area where there is a bit of shade under the trees. There is a bit of uh, wind blowing as well. It's much uh, a bit more cooler there, but nevertheless, it's glad to see them uh, enjoying the cricket. We wouldn't mind seeing support for local girls as well. Haven't seen much, many, and. Uh, we are inviting them. Gates are open. Outstanding game of cricket in the middle. Sri Lanka in action. Yes, uh, we have three more T20s to be played here on the first Monday, second Tuesday and third Wednesday. So we invite all those in and around Surya, wherever. Please come. It's free. Come and watch the cricket and uh, support these uh, youngsters. Dot ball to end the over. Good comeback after being uh, hit for a four. 15 completed, 90 for 2. Oh, you back up. I'm <laughs> 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 The red and yellow buildings, the red, the power play, one big one there of 10, but they lost the wicket. Had a good one of a 9 as well. The yellow ones, uh, the run rate dropped a bit from uh, overs uh, 6 uh, to 15. A couple of good overs, but they've been steady. There haven't been any uh, maiden overs or very low scoring overs as such. The Sri Lankan uh, batters have managed to rotate the strike, get a 3 4 runs per over minimum each and every over. Current run rate 6 runs. They'll be looking to maintain this or get it even better. With wickets in hand. Eight wickets in hand with just five overs to go. Height may fail. England will not want that. Uh, Pauline as we are looking at. Yes, girls. Yes, girls. I am looking at at least another 40 runs uh, from here onwards with eight wickets in hand. Uh, Sri Lanka have to try and get to 130, 135. That's what the Sri Lankan captain wanted at the toss. That's the surface uh, they are playing on today. Fresh one for today's game, but just similar to what we saw yesterday and day before. It's uh, quite hard, uh, looks a bit dry, but uh, it's uh, 
very rolled in really well. A bit of grass patches, but that won't uh, really do too much. It's a good surface overall. There's runs on offer. And you need to use all your skills uh, like uh, the England bowlers have done. Change of pace. You know, bowl the correct uh, lengths. Well, we were talking about a uh, score of 130, Ricky. Yes, that's exactly what the Sri Lankan captain wanted. But uh, with this score at 92 for two, if they can get some shots, they will definitely go above that 130. That's firmly hit, but straight to the field. Now they're running between has been pretty good. Good calling, good understanding between these two batters. They have put on 60 odd runs now, 62 to be precise, between these two. Senaratna getting a 39 and Anaka on 22. Maintaining a run rate of third, uh, 6 per over. They've got to increase on that if they want to get uh, 130. Senaratna is going well. She's going at more than a runner ball. It's a skipper Manu Dinanekara that has to step up probably. She certainly has uh, the talent to do so. That could call a wide. So they'll want it, Anekara. 22 of 40 deliveries now. They will need a to uh, get going, pick up a couple of boundaries. Yes, so they, if they could get this up to seven runs per over, they'll end at uh, that 130, 135 run mark. Yes, from here on, well, they should look at at least seven per over. That's it firmly. Got one bounce into the boundary for four. Beautifully played. No. Stepping away a bit, giving herself some room. And uh, going aerial once again, intentionally, you could see inside out. She needed uh, that bit of room to free arms to uh, get it uh, into that uh, spot of extra cover. Very well played by Nane Kara. That's an important boundary. As I mentioned, she certainly has a lot of uh, talent. And uh, what I've uh, seen and uh, speaking to her and uh, like about her is uh, that aggressiveness, that positiveness. You know, she's uh, that uh, bubbly character, you know, always there and uh, looking, looking forward to the challenge, looking forward to the games and uh, uh, not inti intimidated by uh, anything at all about the occasion or the opposition team. So th that is good to see from uh, these uh, young cricketers. Yes, uh, Senaratna also getting 39 of 35 deliveries. And Senaratna coming down the wicket that time, trying to get a single. But uh, then set a dot ball. So oh. Nine runs and that over. 16 overs gone. It's 99 for two. projected scores they got to think of getting at seven per over from here on to get up to 127 eight per over to 131 that those should be the targets of the Sri Lankan girls to get seven per over or eight per over 199 for two at this stage they have put on 68 runs uh, between these two batters center at the 39 of 36 deliveries should they have more of the strike, I would say. So Surain Kumar completed that over three overs for uh, 24 runs. Uh, the captain uh, is coming into ball, her final over. She's ball three up, up to now, giving her 14 runs. Go, go, go. Cut away nicely by Nana Kara. And these two batters, Ricky, in particular, have been running well between the wickets. Good understanding, left hand, right hand combination, 100 on the board, the yeah. dugout applause. They are happy. Yeah. I mean, they are happy, they are in the game, no doubt about it. Well, coach. The coach Mahesh Veer Singer will be uh, very happy Sorry, as well. well. Hemant Deva Priya, the manager, very experienced uh, management staff, their coaches and management and assistant coaches, uh, they'll be very happy with these uh, girls and their performances. Uh, so far. Get out, get out, Spira. Yes, yes hit him, hit him, hit him. They have done pretty well. They won one game and uh, that would be a close one. Had the ball come up to her. Groves, the England captain, bowling her fourth over. 
Last push here now, come on. 16 runs up to now. But the Sri Lankan batters at this time definitely might be wanting to look at 8 per over if they want to get up to that target of 130. Yes, Doug, yes, Doug. That's why we hit from the Ariza fielder down there in the mid wicket boundary. Just a single. Don't keep on getting those singles and get that odd boundary. You'll be there, isn't it, Ricky? Definitely. They're going well, no doubt about it. They're showing aggression. They're looking to go for runs. 40 of 37, 29 of 43. Nanaka is closing that gap a bit. She still has a lot of work to do to go to a runner ball. Oh, going for another single. Brilliant. All she did was uh, look up at the non-striker. Manu Dinanekara said yes and she came for the single. That's brilliant running. And it's great understanding between the two batters. Look at each other and run call correctly. That's what is needed and they're doing that exactly nicely. Do you see these uh, parents uh, of the English players most probably watching this game. Eagerly watching this game, they got the better of the Australians yesterday. Oh. That's why they hit again oh, by oh. Straight to the fielder and they run. Hit and run. Now this is the cricket. Uh, this is a street smart cricket, uh, Paulinus. Uh, this is the cricket we are known to when we, we play in the backyards, isn't it? Uh, uh, you know, you hit and run straight away looking for the singles. There are no big hits, uh, sixes and fours. It's all about the ones and the twos. And these girls are doing just that. Sweet, smart. Well done. That's again driven and then firmly running with Bean again has been really good. Getting those singles quite easily. 17 gone, it's 105 for 2. So we have had so far in this 17 overs a total of 104 deliveries. Out of that, exactly 52 are dot deliveries. So Sri Lanka have scored 105, if you take it, of 52 deliveries. So you, you see they are going at almost a 200 strike rate for the number of balls they are faced to get these runs because the rest are, are dot balls. So imagine if there was another 25 singles out of that 52. Sri Lanka would have been around 130 by now with the three overs to go. So those are the small things that they could they could really work on, catch up on uh, as the game uh, progresses, as they learn uh, playing more cricket. The more cricket you play in the middle, the more you will learn. And this is a great opportunity, not only for Sri Lanka, for England as well as Australia playing in these conditions. It's exactly the key. They've got to minimize those dot balls, 52 dot balls, 50% of the innings have been dug balls up to now they got to minimize those that's firmly hit straight down the the ground there is a field they're getting around it just a single again they're getting those singles but uh and not getting that odd boundary which they need to get now at this stage of the innings they have eight wickets intact sri lankan girls looking for those runs yes they're not getting the boundaries but the good thing is they are not uh, just playing dot balls they're getting a run every ball. You see, they're keeping up with the run rate. Once again, outside edge. This will be out caught. This was on the cards. Nana Kara was the throwing a better round. And Lee picks up another wicket into a third over. She's bowled really well. Coming into this game, picked up a wicket of her very first delivery. But uh, it doesn't matter because you're looking for runs. You're looking to step on the accelerator. And when you're going to do that, there is going to be a, a wicket or two that will fall. Uh, Nana Kara. She was doing the right thing. Her intention was good. She was looking to go e over extra cover. A bit more drift from uh, our Lee away from the left hander. Got the outside edge. Easy catch for Surin Kumar. Manu Dinanekara out for 13 of 45. It's 106 for 3. So that's a 75 run partnership coming to an end. One need to take the ball. So 75 run partnership came to an end and Rashmi Nitranjali is the new batter that is coming. 
She batted well in the last game, Mapoli. You have all these numbers and stats written on those bits and pieces of papers of yours. You're a statsman. There you go. There it comes out. She got 14. She got it very quickly. And don't forget, she was brilliant with the ball, uh, Rashmi Netanjali. And, uh, yes. Yes, uh, definitely she will want to get on with the game at this stage. Just a couple of overs remaining. Two and a half overs remaining. So, definitely, she'll be really wanting to get on with the game. Down the leg side, trying for a sweep, getting a top edge. I'll wait and see for the umpire signal. I really love the enthusiasm of Sena Ratna. She's looking to run for everything. You know, it doesn't matter she's on strike or she's at the non strikers in. She's looking for that uh, single. That was that wicket. Probably trying to hit it too hard, uh, lost the shape. And uh, that's why she could execute that. She couldn't execute that shot really well. Got a lead in edge. But uh, nevertheless, uh, England will be very happy that, that they have picked up a wicket. They've broken that partnership. Well, England was definitely looking for that wicket. The batters were trying to take the game away. That's nicely played away. But uh, still, no run there. I think she missed the stump in opportunity there. If she was down the track. Missed it completely. I think the wicket keeper missed it as well. Unfortunate for Lee. Lucky for Sena Ratna. There was a bit of turn. Similar one. This time an inside edge. And this time they get the single. She's home comfortably. Well, they've gone to the third umpire. Umpire Ramo Martinez has some work to do. Can you take it back? Take it back, please. Yeah, the batter has made his ground, so it's not out, and the wickets are broken, so it's not out. So Netranjali is home comfortably. 18 completed, two more to go, it's 108 for three. I see the match referee when he's a De Silva enjoying a cup of uh, Ceylon tea and uh, watching this uh, game. She's enjoyed a uh, uh, stay in uh, Hamburg Sota and umpire Rambo Martinez as always looking very serious. Right hand. Uh, how to get a smile off him when he's uh, doing his uh, duties. A lovely gentleman. Well, umpire Rambo Martinez has a lot of work to do today. So many referrals were made for him. It's a no easy job uh, whether you're umpire or a, a match referee. A lot of uh, people <laughs> They're coming for the second. It's a good bit of running between again. The Sri Lankan girls have been really running hard. Getting their runs, making ones into twos. That's exactly what they have been doing up to now. Sinaratna getting close to his close to her half century. She's on 46. Down the wicket again and pushed it over the infield. That's going towards the boundary of Miss Wheel there. That's going to the boundary and that will bring a half century. Well played there to Sena Ratna. Picks up a boundary. A placement was absolutely perfect right between the two fielders. We thought the fielder will get there at the last moment. But just uh, she had just enough to take it to the boundary. 50 of a 45. What a comeback. She failed in the first game. Yeah, Credit yeah. Uh, to the coaches uh, and the management having persisted with her. Uh, and when it mattered, she's come good. It's not a diff easy position to bat at number three. Get you need uh, one of the best batters. Keep she's keep done keep the keep job. Keep uh, uh, brilliant. Oh! Once again, a referral. More work for our third umpire, Rambo Martinez. Hold on, hold on. Down the path. Yeah, the best one has made his ground. It's not out. Once again, the better has got in. This is incredible running by these uh, Sri Lankans. The wicket keeper had to gather the ball and bring it uh, back to the stumps. That just that uh, split uh, second or two. 
had enough time for the batter to uh, get in. Yes, Mel is return. the bowler. The return, okay, Ricky, was not that accurate. So for her? Oh, the, there was enough time for oh, the okay. batters to get back into the ground, uh, crease. So, Sandra on 51. And down the track. Yes. Could be out caught. Yes, Netanjali has to depart. The intention was clear. Go over mid wicket, play that uh, slog shot. But unfortunately, got the inside part of a bat. Uh, didn't have the power really to clear the infield. Uh, good catch. And uh, seven runs of the first three deliveries. So, uh, a welcome back uh, for Smale to pick up that wicket. Good comeback indeed. Uh, Sri Lankan girls will not matter that because they need runs. They got to throw their bat at everything. So, they'll be looking at around 130. Here yeah, you see the replay on that. Snail holding on to the ball a bit. Tanjali playing it a bit too early. Didn't get hold of it. And a good catch taken there. So, Sri Lanka losing their fourth wicket at 115. Rashmika Sewandi. Another good young talent. She just has a few deliveries left, uh, eight uh, deliveries left, made a good uh, 12 not out in the last game. Sri Lanka have a host of left-handers in the middle order. Yes. One, one, one. Just one, just one, just one. Yes, yes, yes. Firmly towards the squalling area and the back. This could be out, out by a long way. She was uh, looking for the second. Looking for the second. And uh, run out. Sena Ratna is very quick between the stumps. She had already come. By the time uh, Sevandi turned around, she had no time uh, uh, to go for the uh, second run. This time I thought uh, probably a bit too aggressive uh, that time running between the wickets because she had no chance. Because she was on the back foot, remember, when she played that shot. So she had a lot of ground done. Uh, uh, to collect, that was a slight misfield. You know, she had no time at all. She had no time at all. And uh, she wasn't looking for the second. Sena Ratna was. And uh, another roll out in the process. 116 for 5. Yes, definitely, Ricky. I thought there was no 2 in it. Sena Ratna on 51. More aggressive. Wanting to get those runs. Sri Lanka 116 for 5. <laughs> So Hiruni Hansika is uh, the uh, new batter out there as uh, Sewandi departed and uh, we're waiting because I think uh, the third umpire is uh, just checking if there was a, a short run in the last uh, delivery when that run out happened because they were going for the second and then got run out. Uh, she seems fine. So she seems fine. So that uh, single one run will count. Run short. Okay. So 116 for 5. It is 7 deliveries left in this innings. Sri Lanka at 6.16, the current run rate. They'll be looking for 125. Get more behind on that dot. Well, 6 deliveries remaining. They'll be looking for at least 10 runs. Seven deliveries remaining. They will be looking for at least uh, seven to eight runs in this. Uh yes, uh, to get them to 125. So another left hand. Hansika. There's uh, still a bit of a hold up in play. 
The umpire gives his single uh, so, signal uh, to the scoreboard. Yes, they draw the ball as said, they get a single there. 117 for 5 after 19 overs. Snail, snail, 3 overs, 1 for 21, her bowling figures. Senna Ratna on 51 and Hansikar goes to the mark with that single. Keeps the strike. So 51 of just 46 deliveries, 7 fours at 110.87 strike rate. Played shots uh, both sides of the wickets. She's been a very impressive. Uh, the boundaries come in B and square. Let me see now, Ratna. A big day for her, a proud moment for her. Look at in a half century versus England. T20 game, you can't ask for more. That could be four, is it? Definitely a couple of runs. And that's four runs. Had enough on it, uh, Hansika. Strained down the leg side of Lee. She's been very accurate, very measly right throughout her spell. But uh, this time, with the angle, she was uh, coming around the wicket, angled into the pads. And uh, Hansika did just enough to beat that field uh, at short fine. That's a good boundary which Sri Lanka really wanted at this stage. Four more runs added to the score. Takes them on to 121. It's nicely pushed on the onside and they get a single. A quick single, very quick single indeed. Well, we know Sena Ratna is uh, very quick. But uh, Hansika, she was uh, quick to get across that uh, 22 yards as well. Good bit of a run in. Good fitness is shown in these hot and humid conditions. I mean, it's not easy. You have batted for 46 deliveries. You have done a lot of running. So, well done to uh, Sena Ratna. Four more deliveries to go. Well, Sena Ratna definitely will be looking at some big hits at this stage. They are a full and delivery, but he, she did not get hold of it. She came down the wicket, trying to hit it firmly on the offside, but didn't get hold of it. That could be out caught. Uh, Surin Kumar taking that catch uh, simply. So, wicket for Lee once again. She's been the best bowler today. 3 for 13 for the youngster. Sena Ratna has to depart. She's played a good hand. She's held this innings together. Coming in at number 3. She's managed uh, to score at uh, just over runner ball. She's run hard. She's made the, her teammates run hard as well. Uh, in addition to this 51, I, I'll tell you, she has contributed maybe another 10 runs or so to the other battles as well because of her run in between the wickets. It has been a, a very good performance. 122 for 6, uh, Sri Lanka. Yeah, correct center. It's Sumudun Sansala coming in at number 8 for Sri Lanka. 122 for 6. Just two more deliveries remaining in this innings. First delivery tried to reverse wave it. Missed it completely and she's bowled. So Nissan Salah bowled for naught by Awa Lee. Lee gets a fourth wicket and Sri Lanka 122 for 7. Now this is what the Sri Lanka did not want. It's a, not the wicket, it's the dot ball. You see... She was looking to play that uh, reverse sweep, the very first delivery. A lot of guts, uh, a lot of uh, courage to do that. It didn't come off, so it looks bad. Sumudu Nisansala has to go. Lee picks up a fourth wicket, but uh, most importantly, it's a dot ball. Two dot balls. Two wickets means two dot balls. And uh, that is very important uh, for England at this stage, when you're in the final over of the innings. Shashini Gimhani. Coming in at number 9 for yeah, Sri Lanka. Oscar. Sri Lanka 122. Right, over. One more to come. 122 for 7. It's a hat trick delivery of Avali. Coming down the wicket and hits it well. High up, but the that's gone over the rope. What a finish that is. Gimhani, the number 9, has uh, produced uh, a gem of a 6. 
First ball, six, and that's the first six of the innings as well. Look at that, right to the pitch of the delivery. Full flow of the bat. Momentum going forward, and she's cleared the ropes by a few yards. That's a tremendous finish. Daigimani, now she will definitely get a promotion of the order in the next game. Very well played to the youngster, six of one. A good finish to the Sri Lankan innings. Brilliant uh, performance with the ball uh, to Emma Eve. And Sri Lanka after winning the toss and election to bat first. They finished at 128 for 7. They have got uh, what uh, uh, 11 more runs than they, what they got against Australia. They got 117 there. So yes, uh, runs on the board always helps uh, and uh, scoreboard pressure will come in. It's not going to be easy for England. Certainly gettable. But we have a, a good match on our hands. Definitely the Sri Lankan bowlers uh, did pretty well in the first game. There you see the uh, batting card of the Sri Lankan lineup. We hunger getting 11, come in the 8. Senarata was the pick of the batters, 51, beautiful innings. Uh, and uh, Nanakara giving valuable support with the 30. Less to the rest of the batters didn't contribute much. Hansika getting 6 and Gimhani, one delivery phase, she put it over the line for 6. 15 extras, 20 overs. 128 for 7. Stonehouse outstanding once again. Very tight uh, in the power play. So, uh, 1 for 19 of uh, 3 overs. Taylor 3 for uh, 3 overs of 22. 1 for 21 of 3 to Smell Lee. 4 for 19 of uh, 4. Brilliant performance with the ball. Grooves was very economical. 4 overs for 20. And uh, Suren Kumar 3 overs uh, for 24. 6 over. Bowlers are used in this uh, England innings. 15 extras. The 20 overs. 128 uh, for 7. One good partnership uh, for the third wicket uh, for Sri Lanka between uh, Nani Kara and uh, Sena Ratna that uh, set the tone for this innings. So we'll take a look uh, briefly of uh, this uh, Sri Lanka's uh, batting performance in this uh, first uh, 20 overs. Yeah, Dhamban Tota uh, started off uh, very well, picking up a boundary very early. And uh, they looked good. It's definitely Ricky, right? Throughout the innings, they maintained that run rate and they got the single. Stonehouse uh, picking up at that uh, early wicket of Kawindi. Uh, uh, then uh, Vihanga and uh, Sena Ratna. Th they were looking uh, ominous as well in uh, good fashion. And they were playing uh, quite a few shots. Uh, the runs were coming uh, quite uh, quickly. England fielded. On fielding was particularly good. This is ball around the legs. Uh, Devmi uh, Vihanga by the very first delivery of Eve. Then uh, Sena Ratna was joined by Nanekar. And this is where they put up uh, that uh, partnership. It was a very good one. 75 runs, uh, partnership for, for the third wicket. And uh, Sena Ratna was batting at the uh, over runner ball. Uh, Nane Kara gave her the support. She played a few good shots, no doubt about it. She was uh, looking uh, to be the aggressor until she was uh, caught at that uh, backward point uh, region. Then a couple of uh, run outs uh, as well. We saw the wicket of. Uh, uh, Sewandi, uh, Netanjali, then uh, Rashmika Sewandi was uh, run out by a long way when uh, Sri Lanka was looking to push and get a maximum as uh, possible. That was the wicket of Sena Ratna after a very well played half century. Out first ball, Sumudu Nisansala, but uh, the last ball finish, this one, uh, six uh, by uh, Gimhani, ended the Sri Lankan innings uh, in good fashion. Take them to a hundred and 28. The dugout is certainly happy. So 129 to win in 20 overs at 6.4 runs, uh, 4 0 runs per over uh, for England. It's going to be a very interesting ch chase when we come back in a few minutes uh, from now.
welcome back with England's replay. Sri Lanka scored 128 runs. This is under 19 women's tri series held in Sri Lanka. We are coming to you live from Surya Weber. This live coverage, of course, available on Channel I across the world to Sri Lanka Cricket YouTube channel. That's the ask. England's strong batting lineup. 129 to win, I feel, Sri Lanka. 15 to 20 runs short, but they got a score on the board. If they can work hard, just do the basics, and I think they can make things work for them and in with a good chance of winning this game as well. Ricky. Yes, sir, Sri Lanka probably would have thought they could get to 140, 145. Uh, maybe, maybe another 10 to 15 runs, but uh, it's certainly defendable. Devin Aperin and uh, Tim Kit going yesterday, Erin Thomas uh, at the other end, the two openers uh, for England. But yes, Sri Lanka, remember, defended 117 against Australia. Australia got only 110. So they will be carrying that confidence into this game. They did really well. Australia, a strong side. So it's not going to be easy. England, yes, uh, they batted well uh, yesterday, but they were batting first. Like uh, when I spoke to uh, uh, Josie Groves at the toss, and the scoreboard pressure is always there uh, in junior cricket, under-19 cricket, or any sort of cricket. You know, chasing is never like uh, batting first. You, you cannot uh, bat with that uh, freedom. So a couple of early wickets is what Sri Lanka need. England need to get off to a good start. So what they mean by getting that nice out swinger to start things off against Perrin. We saw yesterday Perrin, very attacking player who likes to be busy, especially through deep point region. We saw, got, there you go. She got a 10 yesterday, but uh, what I like is here the slip fielder. Sri Lanka attacking straight away. You mentioned that that's everyone, they got a bit of a movement swing in that first delivery. And there's a slip fielder waiting for that outside edge. So this is good cricket, good attacking cricket by Emanu Dinane Kara. You know, early wickets are helped the other day or two when Australia were chasing, or even yesterday when Australia were chasing versus England. Once you lose the early wickets, you lose that momentum straight away. So Sri Lanka are looking to pick up the two uh, openers. Uh, Rashmika Sewandi uh, into a second game, picked up a wicket the other day. One for ten, off for three overs. She was very economical. And... Uh, She'll be looking to step up to the occasion. Chasing a total, losing wicket straight away, put the batting team under pressure. England, I'm sure they are aware of it. Sri Lanka, spin heavy. But the likes of Sevwandi done a fantastic yeah, job. Netranjali, with our gentle you, swingers, you to come. done a fantastic job against the Aussies. And, uh, I'm sure if they can repeat their performance against the Australians the other day, this should be a very close contest. Erin Thomas, right-hander, haven't had much in the first game. Oh, straight away finding the block hole. Always good to see Sevwandi in a good rhythm. Sticking to a plan outside the old stump. Plenty of fielders, of course, outside the old stump. That's the... England uh, dug out. Uh, they made the uh, four changes in today's game. Shot uh, gets away with it. Oh, wow. Thomas will be slightly disappointed. She didn't put that away for runs. Just a one run of that uh, first over. Good one uh, from uh, Sewandi. So we would uh, like to remind you there are six uh, T20 games uh, played here at Hambantota. We had uh, Sri Lanka beat in Australia, England beat in Australia yesterday. Today Sri Lanka, England. Tomorrow is a rest day, Easter Sunday. And uh, the players will have a rest as well, a break. And we'll be back on Monday. When uh, Sri Lanka take on uh, Australia, Tuesday, Australia, England, and Wednesday, Sri Lanka, England, once again. It's the 6 uh, T20s. Uh, Rashmi Netta Ranjali. She was very good with the ball yesterday. 
Pulled the forwards for just 20, picked up a wicket, very economical. Didn't get much uh, with the bat today, didn't get much of an opportunity. Straight away, that nice inward movement. England, unlike Australians, plays very late and tap that one into deep third man region for a single. Like I mentioned, Perry likes to get busy. It's about Thomas getting Perry on strike. Outstanding start for Stover, yielding just one run, Ricky. Yes, and uh, Netranjali, I love to see her action. You know, she's a very interesting action, a very smooth run up. But at the last moment, oh, sorts of four, oh, big inside edge. Lucky runs uh, for England, lucky for Thomas. Uh, she's off the mark with the boundary. That could have gone on to the stumps. Good delivery by uh, Netranjali. Uh, there you see, that was uh, swinging back at the right hand, uh, you know, and. Uh, that's a natural movement into the right hand. A very interesting action sort of falls away uh, on a delivery point. But uh, so far, accuracy has been really good. Sri Lankan faster bowlers did that against the Aussies. It's about repeating. Outstanding delivery first up and Harry Thomas must be considering himself very lucky. Could have easily gone on to hit the stumps. It's your day. Take the advantage of Thomas, who's on four, with that lucky boundary. Netranjali and Sewandi, both not express in comparison to other fast bowlers, but very accurate yeah. once again. Goes Ariel. Playing with that movement, that's a good shot by Thomas this time. Picked it up early, it was short. And once again, it was uh, moving, swinging back at the right end. So. She played that delivery really well. Intentionally playing it over that uh, infield. That was a good shot, you could see. Playing with the movement. And uh, picking up uh, another force. So second boundary in the over. I think that one was touched too short, Ricky. So, played into the arc of Erin Thomas. Gratefully accepted. No intention of keeping it down. Over mid wicket boundary for a for the second boundary of the game. Netranjali proven expensive so far. Oh, good comeback once again. That exaggerate inward movement inside half of the bat. Thomas picks up another single. Already nine runs off. Netranjali given away ten runs of five deliveries. Perrin had strike five deliveries two runs. Needing 118, 18.1 overs remaining. Netranjali. Okay. There you go. Lovely hands playing late. Get the placement. Third boundary of the over. Outstanding one for England. At the end of the second, England looking good. 15 for none. Really nicely done. Got the placement. I mentioned this. Perrin is someone who likes to get busy. That was in her half. Wasn't a bad ball, but outstanding piece of batting. It's an expensive one. Uh, 14 of that over after a very good uh, first over. So Sri Lanka now had to pull it back but uh, because England are going at uh, the required run rate. These two players are looking to bat aggressively. They are not going to hold back. If it's a, in their zone, they will go for their shots. Slight misfield. I think it was the skipper Nane Kara there. Did she hurt herself? I saw a grimace in. And she collected that one. Whenever Faster bowlers gets it fuller. Thomas looks much more comfortable. So Sivandi need to back the length. Oh, that was really short. Goes all the way for six. First of the innings for England. She doesn't have the pace uh, to really trouble uh, the uh, batters. So the lengths are really crucial. Thomas picking it up early once again. 
and uh, she's looking to hit it in the air. She's not looking to keep it down. She knows she can clear the boundaries. That uh, cleared the boundary by a long way. That was a good hit. Now, uh, Sri Lanka did well against Australia with the shortish delivery. You know, there were a couple of dismissals that Australia could not execute the pull or the hook uh, shot really properly, and they were out caught. But uh, from what we saw yesterday against uh, in that game, that's beauty. That's a beautiful shot. Probably the best for me for today. Thomas uh, lent into that one through that cover region. You know, this is good cricket because the earlier one was short. She pulled it for six, slight midfield through the fielder. But to save one, they adjusted a line. She bowled the fuller delivery. But Thomas was up to it. Beautiful cover drive. Should have stopped it. But uh, four runs uh, to England. Gone through the fielder. Fielding should be up to the mark when you are defending a total of 128 runs against a strong batting line of England. Straight away off to a flyer. First over was a good one for Sri Lanka. But the rest... Erin Thomas looking dominant. A six and a boundary and a single. Sorry. Sewandi adjusting her lines and lengths, which is always good to see. We know for sure England have a very strong batting lineup, like some Josie Groves to come. So early wickets, which is exactly what Sri Lanka is after. This has been an excellent start, excellent response from England. I think Sri Lanka, I won't be surprised if they go to spin straight away in the next over. Spin has been the way to go. We saw the England spinners, Lee, Groves, you know, dominate, bowl very accurately, picking up wickets too. Sri Lanka have uh, a couple of uh, very good spinners like we saw against Australia so they'll have to come into the game early yeah you were correct about that oh, wow. a dot ball to complete the third England 26 for none That's the equation, 103 of 17 overs. Looks easy enough. It's about Sri Lanka picking up wickets and put England under pressure. We saw that happen to Australia yesterday. Early wickets always set cat amongst pigeons. Wihanga bowled well, really, just today, coming into the attack. Experienced bowler, did exceptionally well against Australia. And it's her time to do something different. Because by the way, things are moving at the moment. England just running away with it. So Wianga into the attack. She uh, bowled in the power play. She bowled with the new ball uh, the other day too. And she was excellent. She bowled at the start. She bowled at the depth. Very confident. Uh, Cricketer we hang up, whether it's batting or bowling. But England have adjusted to the surface really well. You could see, you mentioned a good point earlier on, uh, Dhamika, playing late. They're not really good hard at the ball. You know, they're, they're letting the ball come on to the bat. They're looking to time it, not power it. And uh, they're hitting the gaps well, running hard. Putting the loose ball to the boundary. It has been a very good start, especially Thomas. She has come out with a lot of intent, point to prove, and uh, so far she's done brilliantly. Especially that boundary through extra cover region from Erin Thomas. Beautifully timed. You mentioned shot of the day. I'm inclined to agree with you. Beautiful piece of timing. Lean through the line. We have a main while doing a steady job. Just to lose the fielders on the offside. Oh, run out of opportunity. Now, she should have anyway been behind the stumps as well, the bowler. 
She was in front of the stumps, not expecting that return, probably. A bit of an outside edge, uh, Perrin uh, trying to force it through the offside. Gets over the infield. They went for the second. It would have been a close one if she was near the stumps. Uh, nevertheless, probably I feel the batter would have got in. I'm starting to feel, I'm starting to sense that Sri Lanka under a little bit of pressure with his onslaught. This time gets it through. What a shot. That's a cracker from a Perrin. Using a feet right to the pitch of the ball. Vihanga giving it a bit of air. And she blazes that through the offside. Beautifully done. Good hands. No chance for the field at this time. Brilliant start uh, by the two England openers. Both the openers settling in, picking up boundaries at will, putting Sri Lankan bowlers under pressure. There she goes. She likes to get herself busy. Another boundary, beautiful placement. Vihanga straight down the leg side. Perrin immediately takes the advantage. Nicely worked away for another boundary at the end of four overs. England 37 for none. Yes, that was that last boundary. The fielder, uh, once again, just could not get down in time. You could see a bit of a pressure now building up. In the last game, Sri Lanka's fielding was excellent. They're catching in particular. But uh, a couple of boundaries here and there. Four was 37. And uh, they are certainly the pressure is on the Sri Lankan bowlers now. 92 needed of 16 overs. What England have done well is uh, to bring down that uh, required run rate very, very quickly. They're going at over it runs for over. So Karvin Dean to the attack. Ring in the changes. The youngster Sanjana Karvin Dean. of field in time on the Nana Karat, the bigger region. Chamodi. Slow left arm orthodox bowler. Generously flighted, but she found the right length. Once again, this time. Outside edge, yeah. first wicket. Yeah. Sri Lanka picking up much needed. This is I mean, Thomas's wicket. This is the youngster Chamodi, 14 year old, into the attack. The left arm spinner, she did the damage the other day as well. And isn't she happy? Gave it a bit of yeah, coming round the wicket, going across the line. That was a poor shot selection by Thomas. A bit of a fumble, wasn't it? Uh, she didn't uh, uh, get it uh, cleanly, but uh, hung on to that one. It was a straightforward catch. But after a very good hand, Erin Thomas has given a wicket away, uh, unfortunately. And uh, Sri Lanka have managed to get their first breakthrough. Quite clearly, Erin Thomas was looking dangerous. 21 runs of just 15 deliveries. Straight away, introduction of spin. Working magic for Sri Lanka. Carries Pavli. Haven't scored much against the Aussies. I'm sure she'll be walking in with a hope of doing well. This the second game. Both teams ended up winning their first game. It's about winning the second game and staying on top of the table. Pavli, left-hander, now Sri Lanka once again have to, dealt, have to deal with left-right combinations. This is an ideal move for England. Left-handers generally find left-arm orthodox bowlers easy to handle. Sri Lanka now have to build on the pressure. They've got the wicket, they've got the breakthrough. So now they have to try and squeeze in a few dot deliveries to the new batter. Chamodi Proboda. Oh, just going on with the arm. That didn't turn. She was playing for turn. Fairly. This is good bowling. You know, for a very young girl to do uh, this job, to do this art and accurately straight away is no easy task. She's probably the youngest uh, playing uh, from uh, either of these teams, I think. And uh, 
she's uh, certainly out there uh, doing her craft uh, really well. Beautiful ball it, beautiful ball it. She's not trying to bowl too fast. Just giving it a bit of bear, inviting the batter, come and get me. That's how she picked up that wicket. So he's inviting Pavely to come down the track. Good thing about Proboda, just give it in the air, plenty of flight, but finding the right length, just like that. Played straight. Long on, cut that one off, just a single, outstanding over a wicket and a run. So after five, England 38 for one. So England off to a breezing start. Sri Lanka pulling things back. It's about Sri Lanka. Get their lines and lengths right, just like Proboda did moments ago. Picked up a wicket. Rihanga, who was expensive in her first over. Oli, this should be a good one. It's definitely 38 for one England off by overs. Sri Lanka got that breakthrough. The openers started off. Uh, Pretty well, there you see the England uh, worm a little bit higher than the Sri Lankan worm at the start, but now dropping down a bit after that breakthrough. They need 91 runs more in 15 overs, so it's definitely going to be an interesting game. As uh, it's uh, we hunger going to continue, you will be 11 runs in our first over, but still will be wanting to get some tough deliveries. That's exactly how Sri Lanka can pull it back is to give some, get some top deliveries. That's a good delivery. Coming in with the arm. Beverly. Beverly is on one, facing uh, five. Very in 16 of 11 deliveries. This time once again gets it in towards the batsman. Gentle push straight to the extra cover fielder. Having a look at how Pavley operates. She looks like someone who likes to bowl, to come on to the bat. But Sri Lankan bowlers bowl very smartly and run out opportunity. Well, a direct kit uh, would have got that opportunity, but uh, Sri Lankans couldn't make it. Gets Pavley a single and uh, they score on to 38, uh, 39, 39 for one. 90 more runs needed of 87 deliveries. Yes, Perrine and uh, Thomas uh, started off pretty briskly. They got 37 runs for the first wicket. Before well, we saw yesterday. Uh, they came in and broke through their partnership. Okay. That's firmly hit on the offside. We saw yesterday Perrine was very good against spin bowlers. Footwork outstanding, especially off the back foot, cutting away towards point. Deep third man region. There she goes over the field for a huge six. Diminutive looking figure, but some power behind that shot. Well, definitely Prairie uh, is uh, looking for the runs. Hitting the ball pretty hard. That one coming down the wicket and hitting it straight over the bowler's head. That's a huge six. First six for the English innings. Of course, the Sri Lankans got their sex earlier on in the game. So straight away, pressure Sorry. is telling on Sri Lankan fielders as well as bowlers. Vihanga experience this time. Good comeback. A dot ball to complete the sixth. England 45 for one. It's a correction there. Parin got the second six of the innings. Takes her on to 22. Looking at the boundary count already, two sixes and four boundaries. Sri Lanka need to cut down on boundaries. Otherwise, this would be an easy chase for England. They see the English dugout, they're enjoying the game. They're really happy at the moment, 45 for one of six overs. So that's the signal by the umpire to say six power play overs are over. 
So Prabhu there to continue. She was one for one in her first over. She got the wicket, the young girl from uh, That's nicely played on the offside. Get a single. Praboda. Not giving the width, not giving the pace. Good lines and lengths. Nothing more than that. Doing the basics right. By doing that, she look at her figures. 1.1 overs, a wicket. Given away just two runs. All the other bowlers so far proven expensive. He's just 14 years of age. Standing up to the challenge. Bowling good line, good length. Tossing the delivery. Inviting the batsman to come down the wicket and get it. Left arm orthodox. Time but straight to the field. That's mid off. They get a single. Takes the England score on to 47, 47 for one. We are in the seventh over. Perrin moving along really nicely. 16 deliveries it took for her to get on to 23. Huge six over long off region. This time Pavli comes down the track. Another dot ball. Praboda slowing it down. That's her trade. That's her trick. Just tossing it well into the batsman, inviting the batsman to come down the wicket. They try to sweep that one, gets connection. That's put into the boundary. Four more runs to the England score. 51 for one after 6.5 overs, still a delivery remaining in the seventh over. Pavley moves on to seven. Perrin on 23, 78 needed of 79 deliveries for England now. Generally, batters go for horizontal bat shots whenever spinners slowing it down. This time made solid enough connection. Reaching for it, Pavli. Another dot ball. Over. After seven, England 51 for one, looking strong. Manudi, over at this far. Keep going. This England 78 needed to win of 13 overs at six runs per hour. Run a ball. So England needed though to get those runs with nine wickets in hand. The Sri Lankans, uh, if they go to stop this English lineup, they got to get the wickets. They'll be looking for the wickets. Young Prabhupada bowling pretty well. Two overs, one for seven. Looks like another ball in change coming up. Another left arm orthodox bowler. Sri Lanka straight away. Trying to reap benefits from slower left arm orthodox type of bowling. Left arm Chinaman. I beg your pardon. Jim Hani. We remember her. Sayas Kimani is a new bowler. Sorry. Mother. on 23. England really needs the target is runner ball mostly. 78 coming in needed of 77 deliveries. That time Perrin gets off the back foot and pulls it, but straight into the field. Uh, so that's a wicket for Gimhani. Sri Lanka getting the second wicket, 51 for two. Perrin go for 23. Straight away, balling change works. Excellent piece of captaincy by Nana Kara. Sri Lanka strikes. Dangerous looking. Perrin walks back. Sri Lanka small window to walk back into this game nicely taken yes he caught by Nitranjali of Gimhani for 23 that's the wicket uh, Sri Lanka was looking forward for no Grove uh, is a new batsman playing her first game she didn't play in the previous game uh, against Australia Abigail no Grove might be wanting to prove a point. Might be wanting to get a good inning. But the Sri Lankans, on the other hand, they got to look for wickets. 
They've got to make those breakthroughs, get reg wickets at regular intervals if they want to win this game. England needing 78 more of 76 deliveries. You're right about that, Polly. Under Sri Lanka go on to pick up wickets. It will be a regulation stuff for England, 78 of 76. Just above six runs for over. Short pitch. Gets it into the gap. Should come back for the second. Little fumble. Make it easier. Just a single in that. They could have gone for the second, but they didn't go for it. They see the last wicket very in off the back foot, pulling it firmly, but there was a fielder place for that. Straight into her hands. So that is a good bit of bowling. Good bit of thinking by Gim Honey. Placing the fielder at the deep fine leg, uh, deep mid wicket boundary. That one a good delivery. A little bit of bounce off it. Pavley looking to push it on the offside, Mr. Set. Beautiful piece of bowling. Left arm Chinaman bowlers generally, I always mention, getting better in trouble. This time goes fuller. Nothing more than a single. So Gimhani onto a very good start. From the other end, left arm orthodox bowler, Proboda. She also in the middle of a good spell. Sri Lanka. This is the stage. They, they can try and pick up few wickets and put England under pressure. Like you mentioned, without taking wicket, it will be just a formality for England because Sri Lanka haven't got enough runs on the board after 8, 53 for 2.
tell you. Paulinho has just uh, stepped out for a couple of minutes uh, out of uh, this uh, combox area, out of the AC, onto the steps there on the pavilion. And it was so hot and humid. Aye. No, it was <laughs> unbearable. So you can imagine what these uh, players, the umpires, everybody's going through in the center. So not easy. And uh, credit to their fitness, fitness levels uh, to play the game. Uh, yes, definitely. It's pretty hot there. Must be the AC coming down the wicket again. Driven firmly over the ball, as said. That's going towards the boundary for four. That's no grow. Using her feet well. Good batting. Excellent batting. Didn't go across the line. Played it straight. She saw the field in the circle. And went straight as a dice. Very good cricketing shot. Very safe. So boundary straight after the drinks break. Once again, the momentum with England. When you get a uh, when you get a boundary early in the over, that really helps, especially when you need six, seven runs per over. They already got five. It's exactly the Sri Lankans, as I said earlier, got to look for wickets. They got to put the pressure on the English batters. Get a couple of wickets if they want to come back into the game. Because just to run a ball at this stage uh, will help England. 61 runs needed or 57 deliveries. Again, a Polish delivery coming down. They're getting driving it straight to deep mid off. Gets a single. Now Grove moves on to 10 and the score to 69. So I just hope all these uh, parents, family, friends of the Sri Lankan players are watching this game on Channel I in their homes if they're unable to be here at Surya Weber. It's a proud moment to see their daughters, uh, you know, after a lot of hard work, a lot of practice, not easy, most are from uh, the outstations, so they have to come for, to Colombo for practices, to stay away from home, sacrifice uh, certain things, and uh, to reach this level is uh, uh, certainly a great achievement, and I just hope and uh, they're watching from their homes and uh, supporting them, even from their homes and villages, uh, like like Playam Prabodha, who is all the way from Munaragala, you know, out here playing in uh, Hambantota for the national under 19. This is a great uh, moment for her. Definitely, we would like to see more spectators, people around uh, Surya Baba here in Hambantota who want to come and see this game. The gates are open, free of charge. So it's 11 hours gone, 71 for two, England. There you see the England batting wagon wheel. 23 ones, uh, two twos, eight boundaries and two sixes. A run rate of 6.45. 71 for two. After 11 overs. The game, you would say, England slightly ahead at the moment, at this uh, stage. Because they have wickets in hand. But uh, Sri Lanka, if they pick up a wicket or two, they could crawl their way, uh, way back into the game. A few dot balls. 57 of 53, eight wickets in hand. It's in favor of uh, the England side. And uh, especially when you have uh, some good batters uh, to come. Now Gimhani with a wrist spin, left arm wrist spin, Chinaman. The ball is skid on to the bat. She tends uh, to ball it a bit flat. Uh, so it's, uh, you have to be very careful when you're going to play the pull because generally the ball will come on to you very quickly than you expect. Well, remember, Ricky, Sri Lanka too had a very good partnership for the third wicket, a 75 run partnership between the captain Manudi Nanakara and Nethmi Senaratna. So all what the Sri Lankan bowlers got to do is bowl on a good length, tight length, let them get those singles. Put a little bit of pressure, try to get the breakthrough. That's what they got to do at this stage. Because wickets are very important. See, 56 runs needed or 51 deliveries. A couple of dot balls will put a little bit of pressure on the England batters. That's off the back foot and pulled away nicely, but didn't get hold of it. This is what exactly I was just mentioning, Paulina. She blows this quickish 
Chinaman deliveries and it skids off the surface and she can generate some extra bounce. We saw that in the game against Australia. So when you're playing the horizontal bat shot, especially the pull, you have to be very careful. Now you could see she was really beaten. If she probably got some bat yeah, onto yeah. that one, there might be a top edge. So you have to be sure that you judge the length really well and uh, you're quickly onto the back foot uh, when playing the horizontal uh, uh, back shot. She was uh, lucky that time. Pavely uh, to get, a ga get away with that one. Yes, definitely she was lucky. Didn't get the hold of that. Uh, and lucky to not uh, sky it on the yard. So that's uh, 12 gone. It's 75 for two. You see the worms still going neck to neck. 54 needed of eight overs. Interesting game on the cards. But England slightly above because they got their wickets intact. Yes, it's certainly still in favour of uh, England, as we mentioned. A long way to go, though. Eight overs. Anything can happen in modern day cricket, in T20 cricket. Change bowler. Sri Lanka ringing the changes. I think uh, Hansika is into the attack. Uh, Prabhu has uh, bowled out. So we have uh, Hiruni Hansika. Bowled just a one over in the first game for seven. I think if I'm correct, she bowled the 19th over in that game against Australia. The other day. Brought in early now into the attack because a couple of bowlers have been expensive. So this is good captaincy by Nane Kara bringing a spinner on. Slowing things up. Well, seven runs in that 19th over, Ricky. Change the things, you know. Give a give 15 runs or to something to for the Australians to get in the last over. Irony Hansika. Just a single of that delivery. 76 for two, England. So they're working the singles, milking the singles at the moment. This partnership looking very good. Pevely and uh, Nogru. Oh. Yeah. That one, a foolish delivery, pushed away towards the extra cover boundary. Gets a single. It's uh, about 26 runs added between these two batters. 52 runs needed or 45 deliveries. Well, England can afford to go on like this for a couple of more overs. Oh. Because if they keep their wickets intact, definitely last two, three overs, they're going to go on it. You can see, as soon as uh, you give it a bit of a yeah, slow it up, it's uh, difficult to get away. A few missed time shots in this over already. Hansika slowing things up very slow through the air. Uh, and uh, the batters finding uh, too uh, difficult to time the ball. That's much better. Yeah. Yeah. Looking for the second, but uh, doesn't get it. The fielder uh, probably keeping the ball too too long in uh, hands, but uh, nevertheless uh, restricted to one. So five, uh, four of the over. So far it has been a decent one. Now Sri Lanka won't mind four runs off and over. What they don't want is the six and the sevens. So this last delivery is uh, really crucial. Yes, a couple of dirt balls in this over. They can manage to... Uh, Ball over after over like that, getting a couple of dot deliveries to put the pressure on the English batters. Oh, yeah. leading edge. Yeah. Gone. Gone. The result of just keeping it slow, you know, make the batter do the work. So, Pavely, she had to go on the back foot. It was short, it was wide, but she had to do all the hard work. She had to create the pace and she could not do so. Trying to hit it too hard. Leading edge. A simple catch, a dolly to that extra cover fielder. And Sri Lanka have got the break. So look, she had so much time. She had to wait and wait and wait. But still, she could not execute it properly. Didn't get a time in right. She'll be very, very disappointed. Did all the hard work. Got to 20 of 27. Nanekara takes the catch of Hansika. It's 79 for 3.
Desi Amrita Suren Kumar coming in at number five for England with the Sri Lankan background in her. Desi Amrita Suren Kumar, we saw her ball a few overs very steadily, uh, her medium pace. Batting at number five, coming ahead of the skipper groups as well, getting an opportunity of the order with uh, just over a runner ball required. Big opportunity. And a big moment of uh, Suren Kumar. Thank you, Mani, that's struck away nicely towards the cover region. Batsmen have ample time to cross over for two. Take a look at that wicket once again. You see, very slow. The drag did short. She had to uh, create the momentum. She had to uh, create the pace and just balloon in the air. Didn't get the timing at all right. She knows it. She'll be disappointed. A few good overs here now for Sri Lanka. Kimani continuing. Into a fourth over, just given away 11 runs and picking up that, that one wicket. Well, yes, uh, yes she did small well, just giving away only 11 runs. 48 needed or 40 deliveries. No dot deliveries like that is needed for Sri Lanka. Put the pressure on the English batters. Sri Lanka can pick up the wicket of no group. They will feel really confident because then you'll have two new batters in the centre. That was a pitch in outside the leg stump, way outside the leg stump. That's turned away nicely towards the final leg area. Gets a single. England might be happy getting the singles at this stage. Sri Lankans got to do those dot deliveries. Leg, please. Leg. 82 for three. 30.4 hours gone. Soren Kumar yet to open her account. And, short. and straight into the hands of the short mid wicket fielder. That's the end of Soren Kumar. And Gimahani gets another wicket. England losing another wicket. That's really what Sri Lanka needs to That's get the wickets at regular intervals. Didn't I tell you, Paulina, in the last over? You have to be very, very, very careful playing the horizontal back shots against Gimhani because she tends to skid on to you quickly than you expect. And look at this one. It was uh, quick on to her. Though it was a bit short, it was quick on to her and uh, she couldn't control it well. She could not keep it down. Unfortunately, uh, Suren Kumar has to depart for not a good catch by Wehanga. And uh, Sri Lanka have crawled their way back into this game, 82 for 4. That brings uh, Josie Gross, the English captain, into the batting, into bat. At number 6, where she played a very good innings uh, yesterday against the Australians. Will she be able to repeat that today? We've got to wait and see. Kimani 2 for 12, Thank just you. a delivery more to complete her quarter of 4 overs. I think she will have to look to repeat this performance, 57 oh. yesterday, fantastic innings and uh, the strike rate of 139. The captain has to come to the party for England. Coming in at a very important position at number 6 when you need uh, to get going quickly. Starts off with a full toss but doesn't get it into the gap. Brilliant performance. 2 for 12 of 4 was uh, for Gimani. Fantastic in the middle. 14 completed, 82 for 4. There you see England need 47 runs uh, to win of 36 deliveries. There you see the worm, the English worm dropping after those two wickets.
That's exactly what I was talking about. If Sri Lankans manage to get the wickets at regular intervals, that worm will definitely drop. 47 needed in six overs. That's warmly played by no crow this time, beating the cover point fielder, but just still a single. Here in Hansika ball, the first over, just giving away four runs. Yeah, it's an important moment uh, in this game. The grooves, uh, the skipper still to open you. a count. Not the uh, no groove is batted really well. Hansik has picked up a one wicket now. Sri Lanka have uh, come back into this game. A ball, a few deli a dot deliveries, picked up a couple of wickets. Oh, that's right through her. Poor failed it. That should have been just a single. But a conceded a boundary. Now, who was that on the uh, boundary line? We'll take a look. Uh, the bowler and the skipper won't be happy with that one. That's letting the pressure off because the grooves was uh, still on a zero. And uh, she should have been restricted uh, to one right through her, not getting a body B and that one. Poor cricket in the field. Yes, definitely that type of fielding will not help Sri Lanka. They've got to cut all those runs at this stage. England needing 42 to win of 34 deliveries. There yeah, I see the England dugout. Pretty happy. Yes, sir, they're certainly enjoying themselves. The players, the support staff, as well as uh, the spectators who have come here, parents, family, friends. They're enjoying uh, their tour to Sri Lanka so far, no doubt about it. Looking for that uh, off day tomorrow, Easter Sunday as well. And uh, they'll be back again uh, on uh, Tuesday to take on Australia. So still a lot of uh, cricket uh, to be played here in this uh, T20 tournament. Come on. Again, uh, didn't get hold of that, but still managed to get a single. 89 for four. 40 more needed of 32 deliveries. If Sri Lanka can get another wicket or two, Ricky, they're definitely going to put a lot of pressure on the England batters. Yes, sir. Uh, they also need a lot of dot balls. I think uh, dot balls create that pressure then uh, that is where the uh, players uh, play that uh, shot they normally would not do so so that is where that is what's important uh, currently 39 of 31 they'll be looking to increase that gap between uh, runs and balls and uh, make grooves or no groove do something different well this over has been a good over for england eight runs coming off it up to now and that he comes down the wicket hits it firmly Wide of mid on, that's gone to the boundary for four. So fantastic, four. fantastic shot once again. No group using her feet right to the pitch of uh, that uh, delivery. And uh, the good thing, once again, going straight, not looking to play the uh, cross padded shots. She knew a uh, long on was slightly wide, played it straight, and uh, picks up another boundary to end the over. Good one for England. So Ricky, we've reached the final stage of this game. Important one for both the teams. Looking at the scorecards, no groove, not out on 23. Looking dangerous and half centurion from the previous game. Skipper Josie Grooves settling down. Previous over, sloppy piece of fielding, and England benefiting. And England, all of a sudden, a step ahead of the game. 94 for 4 after 15, 5 offs to go. One of the Nana Kara comes into the attack. Right arm, medium fast. Well, uh, before the game today, she was warming up and uh, she was uh, bowling a few overs. And uh, yeah. we, we were sort of, uh, sort of uh, bugging her out there saying, you're not bowling, so how come you're warming up uh, with the ball? And she said, we never know, you may need it in this game. So I'm going to be ready. If I'm needed, I'll, I'll bowl a few overs. And there you go. The skipper taking on the responsibility in these uh, middle overs to try and uh, pick up a wicket, try and contain uh, the uh, uh, run flow. So, yes, that is good to see. Taking on the responsibility. Uh, some of her better bowlers have already bowled out. 
So now she needs to fill in those gaps, maybe with the over two. Perhaps in the process, breaking the concentration of English batters, enticing for them to take the eyes off the ball. There you go, the catch. That was an easy chance. Exactly what Sri Lanka was after. Bowling change could have worked in favor of Nana Kara. Yeah, she'll be disappointed. Created that opportunity. That was the breakthrough they were looking for because these two players are batting well. She could not get back in time. Going yeah, one-handed. Yeah. Really, those have to stick. But uh, Sri Lankan feeling now the other day, their catching made the difference. They took, held on to some really good catchers. They held on to everything. And that, was, um, that made a huge impact today. They missed a couple of chances, even ground fielding. We saw in the last over four go right through. So those small things uh, probably can make a huge difference. Imagine if you stop that boundary. Imagine if you took this catch. You know what a difference uh, it would have made uh, into this, uh, uh, into the game, and it would have put a lot of uh, pressure on the England batters. Yes, Ricky, we could could have come any time. It's about maintaining pressure during last over, feeling falling apart. Given the initiative for England, once again goes aerial, finds a fielder in deep, just a single. What I'm about to say is that, like you also mentioned that, by bowling dot balls, by picking up wickets, they did that against Aussies. 100 runs on the board, England moving along, marching along really nicely, happy dugout. Yes, yeah, so they have reached that uh, 100 psychological. <laughs> Nanakara goes up, a wicket keeper goes up. How's that? They ask the umpire. But it has been disallowed. He says uh, not out. No grow trying out a cheeky paddle. 11 on the look. Probably, probably. So we'll have to probably see another angle from the side on or maybe from the back. It's very difficult to see if she got any bad onto that one. But they will have probably heard a noise. That's why they went up. But uh, Grooves uh, survives that one. The worms, they are going exactly at the moment uh, next to each other. None getting away. 29 of a 24. Anybody's game. It is in favor of England, no doubt about it. Because uh, they have their skipper, they have a set batter. And uh, six wickets in hand. Sri Lanka have to do something out of the box here to try and drag it back. Right at the beginning of the England inning. Happy dugout, smiles all around. Teammates doing really well out in the middle. Like I said, Ricky, at the beginning of the Sri Lanka's innings, they've scored 15 to 20 runs less than they should have got. And straight away, needing a huge fielding effort initial stages they were good hanging on to everything coming at their way but towards the latter part i'm speaking about four previous overs fielding all of a sudden looks different looks like a in lacking intent that should be a catch very safely taken by Silwandi and dangerous Grooves walks back. Exactly the type of opportunity Sri Lanka was after. There you go. It's a big one. It's the big fish. The skipper has to depart. She wanted uh, to clear the ropes, took on the bowler, took on the fielder. Just uh, did not have enough uh, power behind that. It was a good catch. Judged it well. Sri Lanka have got an important breakthrough. Jersey Grooves goes for nine. Gimani holds on to that one. It's a hundred for five. Just the kind of opportunity Sri Lanka was after. Now they can sneak in. They can create another opportunity. Alexa Stonehouse did well with the ball. Now it's her time to do her stuff with the bat. In at seven. Sri Lanka. Forget the mistakes. Just under four overs remaining. 
they can still work hard, still there's an opportunity. She was rock solid with the ball like an M uh, suggests uh, Stonehouse. I mean, yesterday we saw it, today we saw it in the field. Such a confident player with the ball. You know, she knew exactly what she wanted to do. Can she take England home uh, with the bat as well, Stonehouse? Alexa Stonehouse, a name that we will be hearing in the future. Very talented. Straight away. Finds a fielder. Outs of Sri Lanka. To be vigilant in the field. To be on their toes. Put some pressure. Enticing run outs. Cutting down singles. That's what in order. Can Sri Lanka do it? We think they still can. 29 needed of 21 deliveries. Yes, uh, still within reach, uh, certainly for England. I will still put my uh, money on England at this moment. Uh, 29 uh, of 21, and now it's a 28 of 20. Still five wickets in hand. Just uh, one or two good shots, and uh, this will uh, get down to a runner ball. You'll still put your money on England. But you never know. A few dot balls, another wicket or two, and the game will certainly go uh, Sri Lanka's way. But uh, their fielding has to be up to the mark. They cannot afford uh, any any loopholes uh, from here onwards. Uh, drop catchers or misfields cannot come uh, Sri Lanka's way if they're going to win this game. It's about being tied. This was, is how yeah. dangerous Groves gone back. Now it's about picking the wicket off No Grove. She's looking dangerous. There you go, picking up singles at will. Completes the 70. The good one for Sri Lanka, two runs and a wicket. 102 for the loss of five wickets. Nine runs per over. No easy task. A lot to do from here onwards. And you, you just feel that it's a no groove versus Sri Lanka at the moment. Because she's the set batter and she's been striking the ball really well. She's uh, battered uh, intelligently. Played good cricketing shots. And the 26 of a 30. So you, you just feel that uh, she's the one that has to take England home with the support of Stonehouse and the rest. Straight delivery finds the field at mid region. Monodi, like you mentioned, doing the drills into her second and, over and she's bowling these very important overs the death overs you know she's just come on to bowl she didn't bowl in the first game as well so this is a you need a lot of talent a lot of skill and more than importantly you need a That's lot a of catch. confidence unfortunately unfortunately just couldn't reach could have easily been another opportunity for sri lanka I just Might hope she hurt hasn't hurt herself, herself Damika. in the process, yes, definitely. She's in excruciating pain, it seems. It was in the air for a long while. The fielder from long on came running in. Valiant attempt. Oh, that was a brilliant attempt. You can't uh, doubt it. Who was the fielder? A brilliant attempt, I think, was at number 75, is it? Fantastic effort, number 15. Sena Ratna, who, who played a superb uh, innings, who got a half century. Oh, I think uh, she's in a bit of pain. She hit the ground quite hard, probably jammed her shoulder into the turf. It's a rock hard out there. And uh, we will need uh, the uh, physio, the doctor, onto the ground quickly. It's not looking very pleasing for Sri Lanka supporters. She came in very quickly from the deep, charging in, got her hands, and she was committed to that catch. And finally going down very hard on her shoulder. Yes, sir. Uh, what is good to see is... Uh, we have the England, I think, the doctor or physio going out there as well, you know, to help the Sri Lankans uh, in this situation. You could see him running from the England dugout. Going there. Now, this is what we want to see. This is good to see. 
you know, supporting each other. There you go, the England quarter, because she's definitely in some pain, no doubt about it. And uh, yes, she's in a lot of pain. She's uh, certainly hurt. We just hope that she's okay. I mean, uh, the youngster, Sena Ratna, she's had a fantastic game with the bat. Gave it her all for that catch. She knew that was a very important catch. She needed to get that, I mean, 100%, or I will call it 200% commitment into the catch. Unfortunately, she could hang on, but... Uh, more importantly, I, we wish that she's okay and it's uh, not too much of a serious injury. That is what is important. Because there's a lot of cricket to be played uh, ahead. And uh, she has been looking forward to these moments. Yeah, just uh, damned. It, it got twisted. It got twisted, isn't it? Oh, that would be painful. That would be painful for the youngster. See the England... Uh, Support staff, the medical staff of the England side out there as well, giving their fullest cooperation to the Sri Lankan medical staff. Now, this is what uh, cricket is all about. Builds on a lot of uh, friendships, builds the people together, countries together, sport in general. That's what it does. And uh, they are helping to carry off. Uh, that girl of the field and uh, well done uh, to uh, Sena Ratna she has had a fantastic game fantastic half century and uh, we are just wishing that uh, it's nothing serious and she will be okay uh, as soon as possible especially with the series on the line three more one days to come let's hope for a fast recovery for Sena Ratna valiant effort Sri Lanka, nevertheless, missing out on an opportunity of picking the wicket of No Grove, who's on 27, moving along really nicely. Stonehouse just came in. Dana Akara must be hoping that she could complete this over and bring the side right back into this game. 25 to win in 2.5 or 2.4 overs, 9.38. The required run rate is creeping up. Nane Kara is bowling well. You know, she's bowling stump to stump. She's just, she has one focus. I'm going to bowl stump to stump. Keep it full. You miss, I hit. That is her strategy. And so far, she's been successful. That's a theory. Almost picked up a wicket. Unlucky, but valiant effort. You know, had had it sticked Ricky, Sri Lanka picked up sixth wicket. Oh, good piece of bowling finding the block hole. England, anyway, coming back for a single, in fact, completing the single without any trouble. Stonehouse on strike. I think Sri Lanka wouldn't mind having Stonehouse on strike rather than Groove. Yes, sir, certainly, and they won't mind the singles, you know, because it's almost 10 runs per over. What they need to uh, control is the boundaries. Now, that's a full toss. And that's out, but we have to take a look at that one. It was waist height. Is there a signal? No, she uh, has to depart. The umpire has given it out as a fair delivery. That was very well taken. Happy? Dropping. Give it out. Yes, sir. Uh, just to run you through that one. It was a waist height delivery, so the umpire, on field umpire, went to the third umpire to check uh, for height. And uh, umpire Rambo Martinson says, decided that was a fair delivery. So Stonehouse has to depart. 
and uh, she'll be disappointed that she didn't get that into the gap but uh, another wicket for Sri Lanka and uh, what is more important it's not only the wicket it's a dot ball as well so she's followed it up with uh, a wide it's all happening here down at the Suri of Ava Smail is uh, the new batsman keep no grow away from the strike this time striving for a way movement a big wide she was hoping that batter was working towards the outside the off stump and uh, yeah. it was close enough for the batter but wasn't the case umpire straight away calling it a wide so that was the last wicket it was a good catch Sri Lanka needed to hold on to their catchers they are done so oh, that's in there as well good wicket though into the gap they'll get a couple of runs walking across the stumps mill trying to find the gap because Nane Kari is looking to bowl stump to stump though she's bowled a wide, a couple of wides, she's bowled a full toss. It's been a long over, how many deliveries are there? Because seven deliveries so far, but still, she's picked up a wicket and, you know, she's managed to control the run flow, isn't it? Especially she haven't considered a boundary. That's the important part. Final delivery coming up, oh, got the bat. Lucky escape for Nana Kari had she left it. There have definitely been a wide, two nevertheless. Yes, sir, they'll get two, but probably it, it would have been a wide and they could have got an extra ball. So England are probably missing out there. She knows she has a big smile. A wicker taking over though, 18 completed, Nelson on the board. It's 111 for six. There you go at this stage, neck and neck, England and Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka fighting hard, 18 needed of two overs. It all comes down to this over.